Good morning everyone, yeah, so today we're at Floral Park. Yeah, it's like three degrees, quite chilly at the moment, so I'm really hoping it does warm up. But on the way, we stopped off at Joe's Cafe, uh, which is a little um, greasy spoon around the corner, only about two miles. We'd definitely recommend this place. Um, they do like um, WW um, selection there, which is Weight Watchers, and a healthy selection as well. So it's our first time here, and we're gonna go and have a look around. Um, the park opens in half an hour, so we're gonna go and have a look and see what we can find. I think the first ride we're actually going to go on today is the Saw Ride. Since I've started on Weight Watchers, I've lost five stone, so it's been a while since I've been back to a theme park and been on the big rides. So I'm actually a bit nervous. Um, so we're literally going to um, jump the bullet and go on the Saw Ride and see what happens. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so guys, we just went through the entrance um, to the pass holders. We were allowed in first a little bit before. We've got 20 to 10, um, so we've got 20 minutes till the first ride's open. So we're actually on our way now to the tour ride. We're going to go and see what that's like. Uh, let's go for it. Yeah, so guys, yeah, we're on our way to the store. Uh, unfortunately, it's actually closed at the moment. Uh, they're just doing some test runs. Um, so we made a dash for um, Nemesis. Um, so this is going to be our first ride of the day. Uh, we are going to compare this to the Nemesis of all the towers, um, which we will be presenting next week on Friday. So watch out for that video. Anyway, let's see what this looks like. Yeah, so we just went on to the Nemesis Inferno. I think it's probably a little bit better than uh, Morton Towers. And we are going to go there next week, so we'll compare, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, overall, I thought it was really, really good. The adrenaline is pumping, and I'm really pretty much ready for any ride at this place. Let's go. Yeah, so now we're on our way to um, Stealth, a really steep one. Um, yeah, that does actually look quite scary, actually. I know I've said the drain is pumping, but I'm a little bit freaked out on this one. Yeah, so guys, we just went on stealth. In the queue, I was absolutely gripping it for like 15 minutes and we were waiting. Um, it, said it was going to be a little bit longer, but it wasn't long whatsoever. The time was like quarter to 11 and we've already got onto two rides. I would definitely recommend stealth. Um, it only lasts about 15 seconds, but it was absolutely, it was really terrifying. Um, let's go for another ride. Yeah guys, so the Darren Brown um, Ghost Train is actually open until midday. Um, so we're going to go and give Walking Dead the ride a try. <laughs> Alright guys, yeah, so we just went on to the Walking Dead ride. Um, yeah, it was actually um, quite scary actually. I probably wouldn't recommend it for the younger um, younger children. I Definitely believe not. it's 13 upwards, but even then I probably would think about twice maybe go on it. But there was a um, kid who was really quite scared. Um, when you first go on it, you go into like a waiting room and you have to walk the ride in the dark, which is actually quite scary itself. And the ride is like um, a scary version of Space County in Disneyland. It's like an inside roller coaster, which is like, that's really good fun. And then you get off the ride, and then you go for a canteen you know, with zombies, and you walk through, it's like a walk in kind of thing. Um, overall, I would definitely recommend it. I probably wouldn't do it again, it's not really for me. Um, but yeah, you'll probably enjoy it. Anyway, we're going to go on another ride now. 
Yeah, the time's around quarter past 11. We've now been on three rides. Um, so we're gonna go and um, ride the tidal wave. Hopefully the sun will come out a little bit because at the moment it's a little bit chilly still. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get slightly wet on the tide. Okay guys, so we just went on tidal wave. Yeah, I was cold to begin with when I went on. Um, and we just went on to a tidal wave now. I'm actually drenched through. No one told me I was going to take a bath at Fort Park today. <laughs> I'm absolutely wet. Look at me. Lewis, pan down. Absolutely dripping from wet. My hoodie was black and red even. Now it's pretty much black. I don't even see it on the camera. Um, yeah, have a look how wet it is when you come down. Yes, we just went on to one of those um, dry machines after the tidal wave because we were absolutely soaked. Um, didn't work very well, um, we're still absolutely drenched, um, so we decided to go and get some refreshments every day in that place. Um, if you're annual pass holders, you can get one of these for $1.99, and um, it only costs 75 pence each time you refill, and you can keep reusing it as well. Yeah, so we're going to go and give the, um, the Dodgems a little bit of a ride. It'd be um, bad not to have a little ride when we're at a theme park. And as you know, I like a good 4D experience. Right, guys, now you like a good picture of me in my 3D glasses. Yeah, guys, so yeah, we just went on to the um, 4D uh, Manco Birds, which I thought was really, really good. It was definitely at the par with the one at Land. Um, the only reason that they made it better was if they would have used the heat element, the fire and the flames like they did at Land. But I definitely, definitely recommend it for all the small children. It runs every hour on the hour and it lasts for about 10 minutes. Yeah, definitely recommend it. Yeah, so it's been an hour since we went on tidal wave, still absolutely soaking wet. And we're trying to cool off and um, we'll dry off a little bit in the um, 4D cinema and the dodgings, but that didn't really help, we're still soaked. Um, so we're going to go and give Flying Fish a um, go, it's only a 10 minute wait. And after that, we're going to hopefully get on to Darren Brown and we're going to go on to Swarm. And um, yes, yeah, so come and join us. Yeah, guys, we're still really freezing um, and wet, so we decided to um, ride Swarm later on this afternoon. Um, so we decided to go and get some fish and chips at Amity Fish and Chip Shop. Um, so two of these meals were over £15, but our discount was actually £12, which I think is a bargain. Yeah, so guys, now we're off to Swarm, it's only a 5 10 minute wait, so we're going to go check it out. The sun is trying to get out to dry us off, and we'll get there. Um, yeah, so we'll give you an update afterwards in a few videos to show you what it looks like. Just to note, we were unable to take the um, camera on, the, on the, any other rides with us, so that's why you haven't seen any of the footage like you did at Nagoya Land. Um, but we will let you know what we get tonight, and we will show you a few of the rides going around as well throughout the day. I've seen it so far. It's like an apocalypse ride, and some of the props here are really, really good. We're going to show you now. It's got like abandoned um, aircraft, um, police cars, ambulances. It's really, really good. Hi 
guys, yeah, so we just put on the Darren Brown ride, um, it was about 45, 50 minute wait. Um, they do say you're not supposed to get anyone about the ride, so I can't really let you know what actually happened. Um, but I would definitely ride it, but I probably will want to queue any more than 40, 45 minutes max. I wouldn't queue more than half hour No, in my opinion, it wasn't really good. Um, the VR wasn't very really good. Um, what console have we got at home? Oculus Go, and it was HTC Vive that they were used. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's worth, worth going on, but I probably wouldn't queue any more than 44 or 45 minutes. So that's our day at Fort Park. I really hope you enjoyed our footage and the experience we've had today for the first time we've been. We're definitely going to come back at least twice again this year. It was really, really good. One of my best theme parks. Um, we're going back to um, Orton Towers on Friday. So I'm going to compare the two. I do think I'm probably going to prefer Fort Park over this. And we're going to aim to go to Challenge on the Sunday as well. Like I said before, if you like watching our videos, then please do subscribe to us and like and comment below where you would like to see us go. And we have upcoming events throughout the year as you know and I hope you can join join us on every step of the way. And thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.